Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ken Chrysler, and my name is Nusen Barafia. And let, and let me just tell you how this is going today, ladies and gentlemen. His name is Vicious Swag. He made an impact last week like no other before. Um, he completely took out the Blue Neck. The Blue Neck's out six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks, ladies and gentlemen, which is absolutely ridiculous. And then, you know what this guy does? Him and Melissa do? They tell Prince Macau, if you don't give Vicious Swag a U.S. title shot, we're going to do more stuff to your superstars. And what does Prince Macau do, Newsom? He gives in. Of course he does. And what a dummy. What was he thinking? At least um, Vicious Swag has to go through Captain America to get his title. And if the microphone sounds better, by the way, we got a new computer. It's really nice. Um, we'll be able to do more things with this computer, and Macau bought it just for you all. If he's done something good, uh, something that's good, it's that. Yes, indeed, Ken. And I have to admit, Captain America, um, I don't know what he's getting himself into tonight. I don't know either. Um, vicious swag is dangerous. I don't know what his deal is. I don't know him or Melissa's motives. But I, I, I'll just go ahead and tell you. And Captain America saluting everyone. And look here! What a dirtiest move I've ever seen in my life! What in the world? And we're starting to, What a cheap shot by vicious swag! The guy had the flag in his hand. And he hits a veteran in the back. How ridiculous. You know what, Newsom? This has got to be stopped. This cannot go on like this. Um, Macau cannot take demands from a bunch of uh, psychopaths like Mad Melissa and Vicious Swag. They, they promised him if Vicious Swag got a title shot tonight that... Um, uh, no, uh, they wouldn't interfere in any matches. That's what they said. And it, it's pretty ridiculous. It is pretty ridiculous, Ken. Uh, they pretty much now are taking control of this channel. And, and Macau's giving in. He never gives in. Yeah, but he's giving in because these guys are apparently his friends. But we all know they were targeting, um, they were sending a message to him. They were. They were absolutely were sending a message uh, to him and mentally sinister. They were. Um, a lot of beef's been going on between Melissa and Capri. And look here, Vicious Swag. By the way, this is a tables match um, for the U.S. title. And Vicious Swag so far is dominating this fight. I don't. Now he's tearing stuff up. He took the blue neck out. The blue neck's out six to eight weeks. Curious George ran. I don't blame him. He didn't know what was going on, and he and he got out of dodge. Which um, and let me remind you all tonight: Five Nights at Freddy's will also take on Prince Macau and Mentally Sinister, and it will be t as our main event. It will be Team Pineapple Blast versus Team Michael Myers. Neither man will be in the match, but their team will be. And uh, Michael Myers um, has definitely been doing some dealings with Mad Melissa and Vicious Swag here. Um, the Bald Man's Bureau is just destroyed, basically. Um, especially after their loss with Five Nights at Freddy's. They've been abandoned. Mr. Clean lost to Paul Stanley. They, they, I mean, they've been doing pretty bad. They have, Ken, and... Um, and there is a new breed of animals that is coming to this channel. It is. And I'm worried. Um, I'm worried that bad stuff is going to happen. And uh, especially with this match. And of course, Captain America, he's, he's doing a fantastic job for someone who got hit in the back. He had the American flag. He was saluting the crowd. And what and what happens? He gets hit in the back. Is that how you treat a World War II veteran? Goodness, show him some respect. How ridiculous that was. And look here, vicious swag. Cherish. Oh, 
chair shots repeatedly. Oh my goodness. And I and and Mr. Swagalicious, who is now known as Vicious Swag, um, has declared that he is on his final form of evolving. It's like a Dragon Ball Z thing he was referencing. Look at Captain America. But Vicious Swag again with a nice reversal. And this guy is just absolutely insane. He's doing a, a phenomenal job. As much as I don't like him, uh, through Captain America in the uh, st uh, the post. And oh man, what a nice move there. But it doesn't matter how many signatures and finishers you put on your opponent. You have to break him through a table in this match. And... And here we go again. Right into the pull again. Oh my goodness. And oh, nice reversal by Captain America. But look here. Every time Captain America seems to have a chance, it, the light at the end, end of the tunnel, the end of the tunnel, I can't say words today. I don't know why. It's probably just because you got up. Probably. It's early. But anyway, the light at the end of the tunnel is is getting darker. And uh, Vicious Swag now still dominating this fight. Um, oh man, I'm worried. He could become the U.S. champion. And if he's not, there could be chaos. You know, either way, you lose. Yeah, and, and uh, well, Melissa said as long as he gets his... Uh, as long as he gets a uh, title shot, not, uh, they won't interfere in any matches. Yeah. But, uh, I, yeah, I'd like to see him interfere in the last one. Since it's a six-man tag. Yeah. Um, well, um, also, though, uh -oh, Captain America could take it home here. Oh, my goodness. Cap might have it. And what? Are you kidding me? What? How did he not break him through the table? <laughs> I, I don't know what he was thinking, kid. I don't know either. <laughs> Captain America, this is not a pin match. It's a tables match. And, uh-oh, uh Cap's going high. Look here. Oh, man. Nice move by Captain America. He's got to get something in to win this match and he just he had the perfect opportunity and he blew it he did i have to admit and look here oh my goodness captain america's bleeding man and vicious swag look here oh my goodness both of these men are really hurt captain america did a, a good beating when uh Vicious swag as well with some of those moves he did. And look here, both men are weak. And what is Captain America doing? You're showing off? It's a comeback, Ken. Well, he didn't come back, that's for sure. And look here, the table. Oh, no. And Vicious swag has got the table in the corner. Oh, no. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. He throws Captain America there, and here comes Vicious Swag, and he is your new U.S. champion. This is bull. Yeah, it, it's ridiculous, Ken. Um, Macau gave in to extortion, and it did not pay off. It did not pay off. And this is just for one week without interferences. Next week, what is he going to ask for, the World Heavyweight Championship? Uh, no, because Michael Myers and him... And uh, Melissa, they're working together or something. They are working together. And look at him. Dirty as can be. What a... The, he, look. No appreciation. Disgusting. And he's your new U.S. champ. I can't believe it. And uh, look here, uh, Ken. We're starting off our tag team match. Five Nights at Freddy's versus Mikhail. Unless this is Melissa. The lights are out. Oh, man. What is going on with this channel? I don't know what's going on here. Oh, my. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I did not see that one coming. Yeah, I didn't either. 
Five Nights at Freddy's. Here we go. The tag team match. Yeah, indeed. And, uh, wow. This is going to be a match and a half. Macau and Sinister need to be prepared. They do, Ken. They do. There's the three men. Watch, watch every one of our um, fans. Yeah, that they are amazing. They, that they, they could be announcers. You know, you never know. And well, we don't hear them. It's because we turned the sound off. <laughs> yeah, and here comes, here comes Macau Nation, uh, Mike and Mentally, the tag team champs. Captain America was a U.S. tie. Um, he had the U.S. title, and he lost it. So anything can happen tonight. He had that U.S. title for quite a while. And this is a hardcore Extreme Rules Tornado tag. So that means Macau can't get himself disqualified, which is good. Yeah, that's very good. I know I know you were very mad about Deathstroke and Bane. I'll never get over that. I'll hold that till the day he dies. <laughs> and here comes the this is uh, the tag team titles are up for grabs, ladies and gentlemen. Five Nights at Freddy's versus Mike and Mentally. The tag team titles up for grabs, like I said. This is going to be a phenomenal match, no doubt. Um, both competitors are very tough. Mike and Mentally, they're not tough individually, but together, they are definitely something that's going to give Five Nights at Freddy's a challenge. And here we go. Macau versus Bonnie. Mentally versus Chica. And the match has begun. Yeah, and Ken, I am I'm very worried about Macau Nation. And I'm also worried about Five Nights at Freddy's. Both like both teams are very good. They are very good. Um, Macau though, already um, they're already getting weapons out. Chica was, I believe, striking mentally with a stick. And Macau has a stick now. Oh my goodness, the kendo stick. And Macau's not in the best of moves. Moods. Um, and look here, Nightmare Bonnie. Wow, incredible. With the kendo stick, just beating the tar out of Macau. And so far, Five Nights at Freddy's has dominated this fight. They are doing a... Uh-oh, look at Macau. Nice reversal. Yeah, mentally, he's not getting... Uh, oh, here... Here comes Macau to Minnelli's rescue. Yeah, um, Macau going after Chica. Trying to help out Minnelli here, but, oh, oh, and Bonnie. Oh, man, look at the power. And now everyone's together. Let me remind you, the pin's got to be in the ring. It's not false count anywhere. So, um, as long as everyone's outside, they're safe. And Macau's getting the rebel flag still steps. I don't know why we have them. Uh, Bobby Joe suggested it, of course. And look at Bonnie. Just nice reversal. Taking the steps right out of Macau's hands. And um, look at Bonnie's power. Oh, man. And Five Nights at Freddy's is dominating this match so far. Yeah, they're doing a very good job, uh, Ken. Yeah, they are. Um, they have been dominant so far. And, uh oh, Bonnie is going for it all and he takes out Macau there. Macau tried to run it didn't work. And look here a choke slam my good oh but a nice reversal by Prince Macau and, and now Prince Macau is in the driver's seat with that nice reversal and a signature here wow just one reversal can change the whole game and look here DDT the finisher and could this be over I don't know, Ken. He's not going for the pin yet. I, I don't blame him. I mean, it would it would honestly be a waste of time at this point. Um, he's definitely got to do some more damage. And here comes Macau with the ball bat and misses dreadfully. And Bonnie is taking control now. And Chica is just dominating mentally this whole match. Uh, Chica has just destroyed mentally sinister. Only time he hasn't is with the help of Macau, and uh, or she hasn't. Sorry. Um, and now mentally sinister seems to be getting back in at Bonnie, 
and McCallum going back and forth. And look at Mentally Sinister with the still steps. Brilliant. And now he's in control. And look at McCall. Wow. What a nice move there. All these, everyone it seems to be pretty banged up in this match. And look at McCall. Nice move. Again, a high flying move. We don't see a lot of those. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Can they retain? Not yet. Not yet. If they're going to do it, it's not going to be yet. Um, and look at Mentally Sinister. Nice clothesline. And now, ooh, and McCall throws Nightmare Bonnie out of the ring. And look at Mentally Sinister here. What is this? I like it. Whoa! Nice move there. And Mentally Sinister's going for a pin. Can McCall stop it? I mean, Bonnie stop it. And uh, Chica kicks out. Yeah, this, they're definitely resilient, Ken. They, they can take a lot of damage. They can. But look here. Macau again on Bonnie. He has dominated Bonnie this whole match. Uh, mentally, uh oh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It could be over. And another kick out by Bonnie. My goodness. Yes, and, and look here, DDT. It could be over here. Yeah, I, th I think it's over. Ladies and gentlemen, can they retain? Yes, they did. Again, they retain as Mentally pulls out the ladder. <laughs> and uh, McCall and Mentally Sinister have yet retained their titles once again. Can anyone stop them? Yeah, and SummerSlam's coming up, so it's, it, it's a good opportunity for other superstars to get involved and maybe... A tag team forming or something needs to form. I don't know what's going to form, but it, it's got to be really good because not even Five Nights at Freddy's could put them away. Amazing performance. They didn't cheat either. <laughs> yeah, and now we are heading towards the main event, which should be a very, very good one, Ken. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. It's Team Pineapple Blast versus Team Michael Myers. And like I said, Michael Myers, he got rid, rid of his association with the Bald Man's Bureau. He's grown his hair back, apparently. I haven't seen him lately. But um, now, this is a Team Pineapple. And of course, Curious George is going to be on the team because he has done a phenomenal job. He's a rival with Michael Myers. Won money in the bank. Has done a phenomenal job on this channel. Um, but who else is going to tag with Curious George is the question. And Michael Myers said he had a good team. Yeah, and I don't think it's Melissa's team. She only has Vicious Swag with her as of right now. And here comes the Predator. Uh, another good pick by Pineapple Blast. Um, him and uh, he, he had the audacity to attack Power Play, um, which. That, that takes a lot of courage there. And who will be number three? Number three will be Spawn, the Intercontinental Champion. Um, what a great team here. What a uh, just an excellent team to choose from. And um, they are ready for battle. And who is Michael Myers' team? I do not know. Yeah, this is... Oh, my goodness, Ken. Oh, man. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! I don't know how Pineapple's team's going to last this one. It's all the horror legends. Freddy Krueger is back. Jason Leatherface. Oh, my goodness! What a team and a half! Yeah, very, very good team. I can... Indeed. A dominating team. Oh, man. This could be trouble for Team Pineapple. These men are dangerous. I'm telling you right ahead of time. They are dangerous. Curious George. Ooh, he took down Leatherface. Yeah, Curious George, they, they're all still good on the other side. But these three are horror movie legends. They're going to have a lot of hard time with them tonight. They are. Um, Leatherface, this is his debut, I believe. 
since 2K14. We haven't seen him. And look at Curious George. About to fly. Whoa! What a nice move there. Um, Curious George is definitely a worthy competitor. And right in the fallout uh, still steps. Yeah, and Curious George, I don't know what he's doing here again. He's crazy! He's crazy! And yeah, he missed badly. These, these high flyers need to watch out. And look here. Oh, what a nice shot on Freddy Krueger. And look here. Wow. Now Curious George is flying again. Yeah! That's what I like about him. He's a high flyer. He moves fast. He's small, but he moves fast. Yeah, but, um, oh, man, look at Leatherface. Yeah, Leatherface is big. He's uh, deadly. I mean, he takes the skin off of people and puts it on his face. I don't even know why the guy has a job here, okay? <laughs> and, and Freddy Krueger's just as bad, if not worse. And, um, I don't know why they give jobs to heathens. Hard-working men like me do not get a raise, but these psychotic Maniacs, dude. <laughs> yeah, especially Predator. Yeah, and look here. Um, Curious George, look at the slaps. Very good here. Oh, man. The chest slaps are doing phenomenal. And they lead up to a signature. And I'm telling you, Leatherface is going to pay. <laughs> yeah, and look here. It's too early, George. Yeah, very too early. I think he realized that. Maybe he heard us. Um... And Curious George, look here, wow, again with those nice high-flying moves. And look here, again, <laughs> man, but that one hurt him a little bit. I'm telling you, jo and George is going for another one. Why not? Why not? And look, he misses that time. Three strikes are out, George. Um, well, the first two weren't strikes, but whatever. And here comes Leatherface. Look here. Wow. Leatherface is definitely dangerous. George shouldn't have played around. And it's too early for a pin. It's too early. Come on, guys. You guys have had in-ring experience. Goodness. Look at Leatherface. Man. The, the moves that he's been putting out tonight has been definitely good. And I'm telling you, they're going to give Team Pineapple a fight and a half. They are, Ken. They are very experienced, these three are. And look here. Oh, man. Curious George put his finisher on Jason. But I, um, it's not enough yet. Yeah, he just got in the ring, so. And look at Predator. Yeah, here comes the Predator. He's done an amazing job on this channel. Went against Power Play. Now he's going against Michael Myers, which is a surprise. He's a horror movie icon. He's a little bit different from the others, though. And so is Spawn. Um, they came. They don't come from as similar franchises. Let me just say. And Predator, I don't know what he's doing. Don't don't do any more high flying. Okay, get you killed. <laughs> Look at Jason. The power of Jason Voorhees, uh, a past world heavyweight champion, when he was Jason X in that form. Um, and uh, here comes Predator Jason and Michael Myers have one of the highest rating videos on the channel um, I believe it's the second I don't want to say that for sure but um, they, they are one reason this channel got kicked off like the way it did them in the Royal Rumbles and here comes Spawn this is Madman oh my god come on Spawn and you can't do that stuff this early in the game. And look here. Oh, man. Jason has a submission in. Jason has a submission in. And it's and, and I don't think he can submit him in the uh, outside of the ring. Which, uh, I, I'm telling you, he could have maybe submitted him there. I think he realized that it was not going to work. Um, and Jason's getting back in the ring. Look at Spawn fighting Freddy. <laughs> Oh, poor Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Look here. Spawn. Oh, nice move there. Um, and Michael Myers. Okay, so we know he's with Melissa. 
not not together uh, as a couple. That's Vicious Swag and Melissa. Um, both of them have allied with Michael Myers. Michael Myers has Freddy, he has Jason, and he has Leatherface. This team is getting bigger by the minute, and here comes Spawn with the choke slam. It could be over. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, but a kick out by Jason. Um, so we got Melissa Vicious Swag. We got Spawn, Jason. I mean, I mean Jason, Leatherface, and Freddy Krueger. What is Melissa planning here? I don't know what she's planning. I don't like it. I don't like how she moves her business. I think she has done... Uh, I, I don't like how she talks to Capri like as if she's an animal. As if she can judge Macau's relationship with his wife. Um, I, don't, I, I think Melissa is bad for business. And I think she should be fired. But Macau is not going to fire her or Vicious Swag. And look here. Look here. Oh, a nice stop by Leatherface. Told you, this team's going to cause a lot of trouble tonight. Um, but I think Macau should just fire both of them. Um, Michael Myers, of course, is his champ. And we haven't seen a lot of involvement. We just heard that they are teaming up. Michael Myers ditched the Bald Man's Bureau. He used them to get a title shot. Um... And he did a good job at using them. And um, I just think, uh, I think Melissa and Vicious Swag, and, uh, I mean, Vicious Swag um, performance tonight, as good as he did, it was absolute trash. And not only was it trash, he was a disgrace. He attacked a man while he was holding the American flag. Well, I mean, how do you get lower than that? My American flag, by the way. Um, and I think they both should be fired. I think next week they're going to cause more trouble. And they're just disgusting. They are. And, um, and I, I don't know what what Macau is going to do. I mean, he's friends. with He's business partners with Vicious Swag and Mad Melissa. And, and I don't know why they are targeting him. And mentally, I, they're not up for a tag team title. I mean, that's clearly not the reason why. Yeah, no one knows. Um, a couple of our subs, I believe, wanted to know why. I don't know why. A lot of people were just speechless last week. And it's just getting ridiculous. Um, and Blue Neck's out. He's six to eight weeks. You know, he's a headliner. Hate him or not. He's one of the best talents on this channel. I mean, it's ridiculous what they did. They can't go around and injure people. And, and look at Predator. Um, Uh-oh. But Freddy Krueger, he's doing a nice job here. He's uh, back. Not using his cell phone anymore. Good. Um, the DDT, if you didn't get that, just watch some 2K15 videos. The man was obsessed with his cell phone. Running up the minutes, like usual. Calling people from out of country. <laughs> <laughs> probably called someone from hell too <laughs> yeah probably um, and here comes uh, Freddy um, look here he's doing a good job this tag team is dominating this fight Curious George and Spawn are doing a pretty good job Predator hey, he's just having a mediocre night and look at Freddy oh my goodness this could be over it could be over I doubt it Ken it's early and look at Curious George breaking up the pin. And look at Leatherface. <laughs> nice move there on Curious George. And Michael Myers has definitely ha has a team going for himself with the horror movie legends. This is a this is maybe a a future tag team threat to Macau. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. I, I just don't know yet. I don't know either. And uh, here comes Leatherface, who has done a pretty good job for someone who hasn't been on the channel since 2K14. I believe he was only in the horror movie Royal Rumble. He could have been in something else, maybe another Royal... Oh, man, Predator with the, the big nasty foot he has. Oh, my goodness, I hate to smell that foot. <laughs> and, and look here, kid. Oh, man, <laughs> very good move there. Yeah, indeed. 
And and Predator, look here. The power of Predator. Wow. Just phenomenal here tonight. And all of these men are just worn out except for Spawn. Looking at their meter. Um, oh, man. What a spear on Leatherface. This could be over, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's over again. And a kick out. What in the world? These guys will not go down. I don't think Freddy broke it up. I, I didn't see quite. Oh, man. Look at Predator. I can't believe Leatherface is still in the game. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and here comes Spawn. Yeah. <laughs> and look here. Wow. What a nice move by Spawn. And, uh... And Spawn... Now, oh, nice clothesline. And Spawn has got, might be the one, he, he's the strongest in this match because everyone else has just been worn out. Spawn's definitely might be the one to take this match, hopefully home. And look here, Spawn, choke slam. I think it's over. This has got to be it. And a rope break. Goodness. How many times can you get out of something? <laughs> And what is Predator doing over there? Get out of the ring. And, and look here again. Choke slam. I think it's over this time. I hope it is. And look, Spawn's being smart. Um, and uh-oh, Predator and Freddy are going at it. And Freddy! Oh my goodness! Freddy Krueger breaks up the pin. Got past Predator. Predator's making him regret it. And Spawn is... And look at Spawn. Uh-oh. He's going for the top rope. This could be over a back flip. Wow, incredible. And Spawn, not going for the pin though, because look at Leatherface. Oh man. <laughs> He's done a very good, impressive job. And look at the DDT. This could be over. They could win this. And oh my goodness. And look here. No one is paying attention. The ref was distracted, though, by, I believe, Curious George. What a good move by him. It would have been over. <laughs> yeah, and Curious George had to do something there. And look at Spawn. Look at this nice reversal. Jason's getting in the ring now. Get him out of the ring. <laughs> and, and, um, and, oh, man, uh-oh. Jason has a perfect shot to get in here. Can Predator stop him? And Jason's too slow to begin with. And Curious George, Spawn, and uh, Predator win this match. What a tough match, though. Man, it came down to the wire. It, it did, Ken. It did. It, it, it really came down to the wire. And no sign of interference. Melissa kept her promise, which is good to know. Um, and Spawn did a phenomenal job tonight. He definitely carried the team. Curious George carried the team. Predator did a mediocre. Yeah, they did a very good job, Ken. They did. And ladies and gentlemen, I gotta say, it was just a great night tonight that, that everyone had indeed. And I gotta, I can't believe it. I can't either. And oh man, come on! Oh, really? What are they going to do? Yeah, Ken, I, I don't know what they're going to do either. Uh, I, this is crazy. I don't know what bad Melissa is up to here. She's got two men, Ken, and I don't know what she's going to do. And um, she seems to uh, be looking at the three. Vicious Swag pulled her in the chair, Ken, and... Uh, Michael Myers, I don't know what he's doing. And uh, she is having a stare down with these three. Ken, what do you think about this? I mean, this is crazy. Ken? Where's, where's Ken Chrysler? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Ryan Bobo! 